Hey guys, this is Emmett, and I'm here for day three of my Aqua Pups vs. Sea Monkeys. Um, pardon Daiquiri, she's just in a mood right now. Um, so, I have a phenomenal hatch rate with the Aqua Pups. Oh my goodness, there are so many. Uh, let me get in closer. I don't know if you can see them, but look! Yeah, you can you can see them. Uh, let me tilt it up a little bit. For some reason, they all seem to congregate in that one corner up in here. But look at all those little brine shrimp. There are so many. So now I'm seeing what the reviews were saying about the hatch rate, because good gravy, there's a lot in there. <laughs> and then I'll get you over to the sea monkeys for a comparison. Pretty good hatch rate as far as sea monkeys are concerned because my last tank didn't have as good of a hatch rate. I don't know if you can see them in there because the sea monkey tanks are a little harder to see through, but um, but pretty good hatch rate in there as far as sea monkeys go, but not nearly as many as in the aqua pups. But I do to some extent understand why that they wouldn't stuff it as full of eggs because you don't want overpopulation going on because, I mean, with the aqua pups, I'm assuming that a lot of those are going to end up dying off because there are just so many of them. But with the sea monkeys, the fewer they are, I assume they have a higher rate of surviving. Um, that's just my little hypothesis, though. I don't know for sure. But we got a good amount in there. So today I'm going to be feeding my aqua pups, and um, since today is day three and they say to feed them every three to five days, so I'm going to readjust and then we'll be right back to feed them. Alright, so I guess I have to decide which food I'm going to use. We've got our super food. Um, we've got our red power elixir, we've got our blue ocean vitamins, I don't know if that's a food. Yeah, it's a food. Um, we got is, this is minerals, uh, we got the premium growing food, which is this the basic. Uh, we got the veggie delight, which is vegetables. Can you calm down please? I am so sorry about her. <laughs> and then I've got the, um, savory 17 pub treats so we've got quite an assortment of foods here whereas with the sea monkeys um, i don't have any of the other foods but you got the options of the regular growth food grow quickly um red magic vitamins um i don't know if there are any others right now oh yeah the banana treat if they're still selling that i believe uh so you've got options there but this is quite a lot of options compared to what you have with sea monkeys. So I guess I should just start with the premium growing food since, you know, can't go wrong with that. I am going to try the red power elixir once they're a little bit bigger because um, I believe it's mostly axanthin. It doesn't, I don't think it says what it is, but it says it's antioxidant. So I mean, that's what I would assume it is. Um, but I am going to try that later on down the line once you can actually see the gut lines in the babies because it's fun to see them turn red, but i um, not going to bother with that right now because they're just so tiny you can't really see what's going on. But here we are. And what I love about the Aqua Pups, I know I've said this before, but I love that the packets are resealable because with the sea monkeys you can't do that and if you like stick it in a plastic bag or something it ends up going everywhere it's annoying to deal with but these are resealable so you don't have to deal with that okay so the growth food let me give you a look in there I don't know if you can see it but it's not as green as sea monkey growth food let me grab my packet of growth food sea monkey growth food is a lot greener and again I don't know if you can see it if the lighting's good enough but so I would assume that this has more I would guess it's probably spirulina and yeast in it 
I would guess that this is probably more so yeast. I mean, there's a little bit of a green tint to it, but not nearly as much. So with the aqua pups, you're supposed to feed the small side to the babies. So it's just a little fraction of what you would feed sea monkeys. But let me get that in there, spread it out. Oh, wow, really not much. But I'm gonna trust what they say. Because they say to only feed them one scoop, so I'm gonna go with what they say and hope for the best. Because I don't want to break the rules too much. I don't want to overfeed them also. So we're going with the tiny scoop. So hopefully they'll eat up and get big and strong. <laughs> they should still have some yolk to them, so I'm not super worried about them at the moment. But I don't know, maybe once all the yolk is gone, I might feed them a, like a scoop and a half. I don't know, maybe. We'll see. It depends. We'll have to see how they survive. Like, if I get a die-off, then I know I need to feed them more. But there we go. We've got the first little tiny, tiny, tiny scoop of food in there. And I'm not going to bother feeding the sea monkeys because I believe that Packet 2 has some food in it because the water looks a little bit cloudy. Um, I don't know that to be certain, but they say don't feed them until day 5, so I'm going to go with that just because... That's what they tell you to do. So, yeah, that's my Sea Monkeys on Aqua Pups Day 3. Uh, thank you for watching. And for anyone who's curious, this is who you hear screaming in the background. This is Daiquiri. She's my green cheek conure. She's a yellow side. That's what her mutation is called. Um, she's got quite the personality, as you can tell. She's always wanting to be involved with stuff. Um, She's super sweet. Hey, can I scratch, scratch? Oh, <laughs> nope, she's not in the mood to be pet right now. Hi, baby. Oh, is that what you think? She just pooped. <laughs> is that what you think of everyone on YouTube? Can I scratch, scratch? There we go, good girl. Yeah, she's a good bird. She just is a noisy bird. <laughs> Maybe I'll start bringing her out on my shoulder during my review videos so that she feels involved because I feel like she'd be quieter if she was actually out of the cage. So we'll try that tomorrow and see if she actually remains calm and doesn't scream. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching.